And on that one, my legs are shot. I'm gonna end it. All right, so I got a chance to go up to Frisco Skate Park today. It's a, a huge skate park. It's it's really cool. Um, it's got a big street section that I don't use. It's got a really big snake run. Um, hard to describe. It's got a lot of different features. Real flowy, roll-ins, drop-ins, um, extensions. It's got a, a half dome, all kinds of stuff. But it um it's unique enough and tight enough in places where it takes a little little practice to find a line. So I had a hard time with that. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm out here for a couple of hours and it's getting hot and humid. <laughs> and, but I did use the Ace Trucks. Again, this is day two of the Ace Trucks. Um, I started off on the Ace Trucks with the stock bind, the bushings. Stock bushings are white. Forgive me if I get this exactly wrong, but I believe the top bushing is 91A durometer. The bottom is an 86A, so the bottom's a lot softer. It's a full cylinder instead of coned off, which uh, I hadn't really noticed a lot until somebody commented on Prodigal Son's video. Uh, so excellent comment there. I'm gonna look at getting a, a full conical on the bottom maybe. But I put in Bones hard bushings today instead of the ones that come with the Indies. And I don't know the durometer on the Indies, the stock, but the orange ones, they were okay, but real loose. The Bones, I gotta say, the, uh, the Ace trucks turn a lot. They are carvy. Um, I've got the exact same bushing, different colors, but same bushing in both of these. These are 169 Indies. These are Ace, uh, what, AF177. So 9.1 inches, 9.5 inches. I'm on a 10 inch deck, so I wanted it a little bit wider, and I just wanted to check out the new Ace trucks, and I've never ridden anything but Indies. Um, same, same riser pad on each, same exact deck, just once painted. Um, with my logo and then the wheels so like I said before I'm trying out these uh, these rock candies by Powerflex they're harder than the Bones SPF 81 B's they're both 60 mil I like the rock candies a lot but I like both of these wheels a lot so the big difference here is the trucks and uh, with how carvy the ace trucks are I still felt stable which I'm pretty surprised at I've got um, and I got three three threads showing on this one now, but um, I don't feel like I have those bushings torqued down. I've just got them snug to, to where there's no play. Uh, maybe a, maybe a half turn past where they get snug and that's it. On the other one, uh, the 169s, I've got half a thread showing or flush in the back, and this one is super stable. I, I do not feel the turn on this one. Um, standing on it, you can see far down I can pick up the back wheels and I'm not really touching the wheel bite on the ace I mean it goes down right away if I get wheel bite I can push it that far for it pretty easy and I'm on hard bushings so but uh surprisingly enough I still like it I rode I rode the ace trucks most of the day today just because I like the carviness it was nice um, I might try to do the full the full cylinder at the bottom. I'm gonna look into some other durometers and stuff. Um, it could be a little bit thicker on the bottom too because I got plenty of thread left on that kingpin, unless I wanna shave it down. So anyway, I'm liking the Ace trucks more than I thought I would with them being this carvy. I thought it'd be too loose, but they're nice.